All right. Welcome, everybody. We'll call the meeting of the Board of Select and Order and start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Dr. Moffat, lead us. Uh, pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, the next item on the agenda is approval of our minutes from our meeting on September 18th. I move that we approve the minutes for the meeting of September 18th. Have a second. I just had a couple of comments. On page two, the last paragraph that starts with finance director Kimmy Chang um, in the second line, it says the current trash program was instated. I think it was supposed to be initiated, maybe, in July of 2009. Could have been. I'm not sure what instated means. If yeah. What spell check must. All right, we'll put, we'll put initiated in there. Scott doesn't have an objection. I guess we could actually go back and look at the report, I imagine. How where I took it from. <laughs> All right. And well, then on page three, mm -hmm. um, at the very top, there's a lengthy discussion about the bear barrels, and it said that, um, that Kimmy and Kirk had asked for 25,964 to purchase the 75 bear resistant barrels, but I thought it should also say and $10,000 to purchase the 40 yard roll off container, which is why we moved for 35,000. That's true. So if we could just add that. So we can add that, yeah. Okay. And that's all. All right. Are those changes acceptable to you, Mark? Is your motion? Yes. Any other further discussion? All those in favor of the minutes as uh, corrected? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right, thank you. All right, next item on the agenda are appointments. I don't believe we have any recommendations. We have none. Okay. There's no old business, so we'll move on to new business. The first item is to present um, a proclamation um, commemorating the 1973 field, Girls Field Hockey Team Championship. Don, Ryan. I'm going to read it, and we'll give it to you guys, we'll take some pictures. You guys good at that? All right, the proclamation reads, whereas the 1973 Granby field hockey team won the first ever field hockey championship held in Connecticut 50 years ago on November 17th, and whereas the 1973 Granby field hockey team beat Guilford, Guilford High, two to one after scoring the winning goal in the second sudden death overtime period. And whereas the 1973 Granby field hockey team brought Granby High School its first state championship in any sport. And whereas the Granby field hockey team won the first two championship titles in the district's storied history. And whereas the 1973 Grand B field hockey team had a winning record of 14, 0, and 3, and an unbeaten streak of 50 games going back to October 1969. That's incredible. Um, and whereas the town of Granby applauds the 1973 Grand B field hockey team for being a model of excellence in high sports and for bringing recognition to our town. Now, therefore, on behalf of the community and the Board of Selectmen, I hereby congratulate the 
the 1973 Granby field hockey team on its 50th anniversary of winning Granby High School's first ever state championship. And I thank the players for bringing this recognition to the community. We recognize their contributions to Granby and all of its citizens. And stated the second day of October at Granby, Connecticut, and signed proudly by me as the first select. So congratulations. <laughs> You guys, you guys know the drill. This 1973 championship season. He's written a book about it called A Life of Obstacles. Yeah. You know, you're a former player. Yeah. I hope to see you there. <laughs> yes. That's right. So I'm so giving it back. back. Yeah, yeah, give it back. Yes. <laughs> How many of them were ever on a Grand Championship team? There's one. Anybody <laughs> else on a championship team? She had two chances. will be after this year. Three. 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 I'm sorry. Three. Okay. Oh, well, I get in no, your So, Wednesday night, 6 30. Basketball, well, we'll go, we'll baseball. Go later. We'll go later than that. You know, you gotta get your beauty sleep. So. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. We'll see you Wednesday night. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very much, everybody. So, where are you going? I'm, I'm getting the people together. Yes. We're only, only champions. Okay. And we need lots of All right. <laughs> So I am going to reissue this proclamation on Wednesday night, which is why I took it back. Yep. And if you all are available, Be please Yep, yep. All right. All right, the next item on uh, business agenda is to um, appoint Kimmy Chang to serve as the interim town manager. You've heard me say this before. I'm very grateful for all the work that Kimmy is doing. Um, the memo is... Is pretty self-explanatory. We have an end in sight now. Um, the, the charter limits my service as the acting town manager to a period of 90 consecutive days. So essentially we're going to appoint Kimmy for this week. Um, that should start the clock running again and should take us through the rest of the process if nothing goes wrong. Didn't have to do it that way, but that is my recommendation based on um, the way things are flowing through the office. It's um, least disruption and and most efficient. Kimmy is certainly capable of handling stuff and signing documents, but there are certain um, uh, things that have to be signed um, outside our sphere, so where we have state approvals and stuff where we've already switched me over to the as the authorized signature, for example. So this just, in my mind, makes sense. And um, Kimmy, you want to say anything? Um, I'm happy to start. For a week. <laughs> <laughs> a week. For a week. <laughs> See how excited One she week. is about that? Yeah, right. One week. All right. Anybody have any questions or concerns? All right. I'll accept a motion. I'll move that the Board of Selectmen appoint Kimmy Chang as interim town manager for the period of October 3rd through October 8th, 2023. Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right, thank you for that. Next item on the agenda is our um, department reports. Does anybody have any questions or comments about that? Again, great job for our staff for putting this together. Um, Scott, I actually have one under the town clerk. Um, um, absentee ballots are available Friday. I think Friday is the 6th, October 6th. Yeah, Friday's the 6th. But all right. No, it's 7th. No, 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 it's the 6th. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, during normal business hours. Good. Anybody else have any other questions? Or? If not, I'm going to move on. Okay, good? All right. 
All right, um, the next item on the agenda is the first selectman report. I have two brief things, just an update on the town manager search. Remember last time we had the full um, schedule from beginning to end in front of us. I think I'll make a habit of uh, reporting out. Um, so we are on schedule so far based on what we had talked about last time. Um, we have uh, submitted a survey that went to um, certain identified stakeholders. Uh, we also um, pushed the survey out through our notification system to citizens who have signed up for that system. Uh, we uh, provided a link to it on Facebook. Um, remember, it's a survey that people can click on and answer certain uh, questions. And there is also a email address that um, uh, you can provide free forming any comments that you have, free flowing comments outside the structure of the survey. So the deadline for those comments to be received back are, is October 10th. Um, Catherine is going to do another reminder to the public um, mid this week. So to remind people of that deadline, we're encouraging everybody to um, respond. And I will remind everybody in the public um, that your, your responses are confidential in terms of we do not see them. The, the consultant gets them and summarizes them for us and walks them through. So that is going on. Um, we are also working now to schedule the focus groups that we identified and scheduling those meetings. Um, there is one, for example, next week with the department heads. Um, so, um, is it next week or this week? It's next week. Uh, so, we are moving uh, through that process, and um, anybody have any questions about that? Okay. And then, I just a brief, uh, Mark, you've been asking in particular for an update on the ARPA projects. I hope to actually have something written in more detail in front of you at our next meeting. And I'm waiting for some reports back from the folks who are managing the projects. But just a quick summary, I went through it today. Um, we identified on our ARPA list after the public hearings and so forth that we went through the process, essentially 10 priority projects that we wanted to focus on first. Um, of those 10, um, five we um, actually approved for specific funding. Um, three of them we uh, approved partial funding for. So for example, the IT infrastructure, we approved basically the first phase in there. Um, two phases left for our specific approval. There are two of those that are remaining that we have um, not um, approved any allocation for. One we never will. There was a line for contingency to, um, to cover any cost overruns, and the other is the library renovations. So we haven't approved any specific funding for that yet. Um, of those 10 projects, three of them are complete. Um, Four of them are partially complete. I guess, um, well, no, four of them are partially complete. The two that have not yet started are the town hall HVAC upgrades. You guys will remember what we authorized was a study to identify what um, we should look at, both in this building and the other buildings. Um, and then again, the library renovations. Generally, the status of those two in these order are the in that order is we expect, I believe, the um, engineering work on the HVAC to be done in the next 30 days or so. Phase one, remember that engineering study both, both looked at this building and then looked outward to the other buildings in the complex. We're having them focus on phase one so that we can work towards bids to see what we can afford to do in this building. So, I, I, I expect, and nothing changes that. The next 30 days, we'll have what we need to, to work towards a bid for buildings on, for HVAC in this building. And the library renovations are pretty much the, the, the same. Um, I, I expect Amber, this is one of the ones I need to get a report on. She is working through Gordian. Remember, Gordian is the process that they manage state bid projects. They do a lot of work for the school district. Um, we think that that's going to be the most efficient way to bid this project, so she's working on bringing a presentation to us for that. So we are currently on schedule for those projects meeting the, the requirements in terms of timing. Um, and Kimmy's been doing a great job of updating us on the cost as we go. Don't hold me to it, but right now I would say generally we're looking good on those 10 projects within the, you know, we should be able to complete 
most of the scope, although we might have to move money around from one item to another. There are some that we are understanding on and some that I think are going to be a little more expensive than we anticipated. And we might be able to, to move down the list a little. We had other items on the list that we didn't want to preclude if we had funding. Um, we might be able to move a little ways down that list. So, I will have you a more detailed report with that in writing and, and more details, I hope, next time, but I wanted to give that general update. Good? Yes, thank you. Okay. All right, that's all I have. Uh, I don't know where we'll start. I think we started with you last time, so we'll start this time with you. I don't have anything to report, thank you. Okay. Um, I just wanted to mention that I did attend the forum at the high school for the Board of Education candidates this past week, and um, I thought they did a really nice job. It's a forum that's put together and run by all the high school students, not all the high school students, but entirely by high school students, and it, w it was very well done. I agree. Anything else? No. No, nothing else said. Good. Nothing for me. Jazz. You know I got a few good things for you. Excellent. Uh, first off, uh, athletics. Uh, we've got some great records so far. Our combined record this year so far is 26, 1, and 4. Uh, volleyball is 7 and 2. Girls soccer is 5, 0, and 1. Their captains claim that they will end 15 and 1. Uh, football is 3 and 0. Field hockey is 3, 1, and 1. And boys soccer is 8 and 0. Um, as for other stuff, we have uh, for NHS the induction ceremony for new candidates is October 26th. So those kids just had their application submitted and they're being checked right now to see who's going to get in. They'll get a letter in the mail soon to see whether they got into NHS. Um, and Turkey Trot, I'm running Turkey Trot this year, uh, is November 15th, uh, a Wednesday. So we'll collect money and we'll send it to Food Share. Um, and then for Student Gov, we have Homecoming uh, on sat Saturday, October 14th. And so the Spirit Week is the week after, um, but the Friday before that, the 13th, we have the pep rally, and I think we have a home football game that night, although I might be wrong on that. Um, I know there's a, girl, a boys soccer game away at Cannes, so they might not have scheduled for football. Okay. That's what I got. Any questions? So I have a question for you two down on that, and that just occurred to me. Remember last time we talked about potentially adding another student liaison? Yeah. As I understand, there are two folks who are interested. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure whether they still are or not. Would you guys take responsibility if I gave you their contact information for reaching out to them and you two, and interviewing them and making a recommendation to us? Sure. Sure. Right. Excellent. Thank you. I try to avoid putting you in that position normally, but <laughs> all right, thank you. All right, anything else? Okay, we'll go to public session. Jenny okay. has it. Uh, no, wait, no, don't, don't start. You haven't been here in a while, so I want to uh, just reiterate the rules. We're going to give you five minutes. Maybe one. Okay. Um, I know you have some questions because you told me you did. We'll write them all down. When we're done with the closing public session, so I have everybody's questions, we'll try to answer them if we can. And if not, we'll make note of them and, and get back to you. That'll just be my call of whether I think we have the information um, tonight. We also make you come to the microphone so that we can be sure that you're heard on the tape. And then introduce yourself, give us your address, and yes, ma'am, thank you. Question or comments? Oh, you got to start your name and address. Uh, Virginia Wood, uh, 130 Lost Acres Road, North Granby. Okay. Uh, my comments are about the survey. Number one, I think it's great. The survey that can mount people uh, email, by email. Uh, uh, many people, when I see them in Geisler's or every, they're, they're asking me about the survey questions. Okay. My question to you, though, is how many people are we reaching through emails like that? Are, are there still a large groups of people who we are not reaching? And the reason I'm asking this question, I know during the um, during the COVID and we were working on all that stuff and trying to reach people, there's so many people who don't get emails. And are we? Do we have a way to reach out to those people? Because when I when we talk about when I talk about surveys to people, they say, oh, I don't know about it, or some people don't have emails. 
Um, so is, are, are you planning on soliciting to these people who don't have emails any other way? Um, and a suggestion I might have is, um, well, it's your suggestion. Okay, when we get, when you get the survey results, I assume that you have a company that's handling this. Um, and they will analyze the results and get them back to you as a, as a board, I'm assuming. Um, and then, do you have a date for when you will go public with the search uh, based on the, um, the results of the surveys that people have returned? And then, um, and if you have a date for that, if you have a timeline, I don't know if you do yet, um, how will you, your selection and interview processes go? Will you have other townspeople on, on, the, on that interviewing board? That, those are just, just some general co concerns or comments that I have that people have been asking me in question for. So. All right. Thank you. Stay tuned. Anybody else in the room? Sir, did you want to address us? You sure? Okay. Anybody on Zoom? Okay, we'll close the public hearing, and I think I can answer most of those questions, or at least try. So you'll want to look, uh, most of the questions are actually answered in the backup to our, in our last agenda. So if you go to our last agenda, and you um, look under town manager search update, we published a whole timeline that what we're doing, what okay. dates from beginning to end. Right. So it will show you roughly when the consultant will be quote unquote public in, in beginning the search for candidates when we uh, plan to end and, and what the process is, who participates at what level. Um, very good question on how many people we reached. We have really worked hard since we have started serving together to improve our outreach and to sign up more people for the notification system because it's easy to do and it's the best way to stay involved. I don't actually know. Catherine, do you know offhand how many people are currently subscribed for that system, the email system? Um, no. It's okay. It's no is okay. So um, it's a small percentage of our actual voters, right? And so we do everything we can to promote that. Um, I don't know if they're still doing it, but every month the drummer had a thing that promoted people signing up for the notification system and how to do it way very open to ideas of how we could further promote it i understand that there are uh, there are those who just don't do email in today's day and age it's harder and harder to to communicate with them um, i will i will make it a point though tomorrow myself to go over to the senior center and ask because i know they have computers available to to users of the center if they will post a notice that that survey is available and be willing to walk people through how to click on it and, and do it. I will, I will do that. Um, it says we have 4,500. How many? 4,500. May I make a comment? I think that's greatly increased since we did our COVID thing because there was a whole push to get more people involved yeah. on, the, on the network. We are trying. And frankly, that's substantially higher than I thought it would be. <laughs> Is there any way to go, that someone could go to the senior women's breakfast and men's breakfast and just at least make a simple statement and promote it that way? Um, I would be happy to do that, although um, I'm... I have been advised that those are invitation-only meetings, and so somebody would, needs to invite me to do that. Um, um, I know I have personally talked, for whatever this is worth, to members who are of the Men's Breakfast Club and told them to look out for the survey and encourage their response. So, But what we, the last question that you had was, what do we do with the results? So the both the survey results and the email um, answers. The consultant will take for us, summarize them, and we will use it as a basis for developing a job posting, if you will. Um, a, a, I forget what the, um, like an advertisement for the job. So uh, what, one of the reasons, I get asked frequently, why is this taking so long? And, and um, 
this particular part of it, we have built in as much time as we need to try to get as much public input as we can in what are we looking for in our next town manager. That's why we're going through this process. So. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Seeing no one else for public session, we do not have a need for executive session. So I will accept a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. We do want to go down the hallway for a brief meeting of the search committee. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Catherine. Congrats.